one of the treatments we offer in at this clinic, which is um, quite useful in the in the cancer care treatment, is high dose IV vitamin C therapy. We have uh, quite a plethora of of data on the safety and efficacy of high dose IV vitamin C therapy in cancer care and we know that it's safe with the majority of chemotherapeutic agents. Um, we avoid using high dose IV vitamin C therapy for 24 hours before and after any chemo infusion. Um, and when patients come here to receive that treatment, it's a very comfortable experience. So they come in, they receive their IV treatment. They're here for usually about an hour. And when they leave, they generally feel um, a little bit tired, but shortly after they feel um, energized from that, from that treatment. Based on the research on IV vitamin C therapy, specifically high-dose IV vitamin C therapy, we know that it doesn't function as an antioxidant. And a lot of oncologists or um, general physicians may have this idea that vitamin C therapy is harmful when used in combination with chemotherapy. Chemotherapy is often what we call a, uh, an oxidative therapy, so it, um, it actually causes um, the production of, of free radicals. Antioxidants, on the other hand, largely are aimed at quenching those free radicals. And so if you look at vitamin C therapy as an antioxidant, yes, it potentially could interfere with chemotherapy and that's where that idea comes from. However, the data is, is uh, quite counter to what the, uh, the general concepts are um, among, or general beliefs are, I should say, among, among medical oncologists. Um, vitamin C therapy in high doses doesn't act as an antioxidant, it's actually a pro-oxidative therapy, meaning it enhances or augments the oxidative effect of the chemotherapy, and it's that oxidative effect that kills the cancer cells, that's toxic to the cancer cells. Vitamin C therapy is unique in that it's only toxic to cancer cells, it does not um, impose any toxicity to healthy cells. So without harming healthy cells, it directly um, acts to, to kill cancer cells and it also um, improves the immune function of the patient, which in turn is another um, indirect way of treating the cancer.